Hi guys. Well, I'm a little reluctant to do this video for a couple of reasons, and uh, anyway, I'm just going to go go through with it here on Collapse Chronicles and elsewhere. I just want to respond to the not surprising comments I've been receiving recently. Uh, here on here on YouTube that I need to get back into interviewing you know my fellow collapsitarians here in the Dumasphere and get back to my interviews which you know I like to think were the strongest point uh, of of my work on YouTube and guys uh, you know, there, there's so many ways I could go with this. I, I would really like, if, if in a perfect world, if I had nothing else to do with my life, and uh, I don't know, I was like Vice News, and and I had how many people helping me out here and whatnot, and I may actually be getting, uh, I, I know this is an absurd notion, actually getting paid for uh, my, my work on YouTube. Uh, there, there might be some, some more motivation for me to do it, but guys, I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, it's just probably not going to happen. Uh, you know, I, I stopped doing interviews, uh, and I think my last interview wasn't that with, with Sheldon Solomon. No, it, it, it was with uh, uh, Bill Gady. Uh, when was that? In May of last year is when, it, is when I wrapped up my interviews. I think, how many interviews do I have? 200 or so. And it, it was for several reasons. And, and, uh, and a lot of the reason, my stated reason, and, and it's not a false reason, was that, you know, as long as this whole distraction of the C word was going on that, you know, the world only had one thing to talk about, and then we had the distraction to the distraction of the election, and now we have the distraction to the distraction to the distraction. You know, of course, meaning all of this crap uh, with, with Donald Trump and, uh, you know, all, all of this stuff. And, and, and I'm just sick and tired of everything. Uh, the, 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 the whole business, it, it's getting harder and harder for me to devote uh, my attention uh, to, you know, to the important story on this planet, which is the collapse of civilization in this planet with so much of this mindless pointless, well, it's not pointless distraction. The point of the distraction is to keep our minds off the fact that we're screwed. Uh, we, we are so distracted by this avalanche of crap that has nothing to do with anything. I, I, I'm, I'm just, it, it, it's really just wearing me down. And uh, the, the, the whole, you know, the doomosphere and, and even mainstream environmentalism, as embarrassing as that is, even the hopium-soaked mainstream environmental uh, stuff has been completely pushed off the table with all of this, this triple layer of mind-numbing distraction that just getting everybody into all of this big fight. We have become so polarized, so politicized, so, you know, in our narrow little boxes that nobody wants to, no, no, nobody wants to have an intelligent conversation anymore about anything. 
Uh, you know it as well as me. Uh, we Doomers, we have our mind made up. Uh, you know, how many ways can you say W-A-S-F? I've had 200 people on here. Uh, we, we are more W-A-S-F now than we were uh, before I did my first interview. Uh, it, it's just, it, it, I, 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 am, I am worn out, I am exhausted, I am depressed, I am demoralized, I am utterly, totally disgusted with the human race and uh, in, in, including my fellow Doomers, uh, about buying in to this triple layer of distraction. And, and, and as long as that's all anybody wants to talk about, uh, this crap, this mindless chatter, I'm just sick of it! I'm sick of it. So that's one reason. Uh, and, and then the, the second reason, the, uh, the, the, the more mundane reason, as it were, I, I, I don't know what you folks think uh, about how these interviews work. Do, do you think that Rumpelstiltskin uh, comes out at midnight and lines up these interviews. Uh, what, what you see on air, what makes it on to air, is the fun part, is the actual interview. You know, if, if it was just, if, if I could wake up tomorrow morning and say, you know, I think I would like to talk to, uh, I don't know, let's say Jim Bendell. I'll wake up tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, and uh, say, you know, I would like to have an hour conversation with Jim Bendell. I think I'm just going to pick up the phone and call Jim and start talking to him. If that's the way the world worked, I would probably do this. But guys, what I, what I don't think that anybody understands, or at least someone who's never been in journalism, that the, the actual interview that you see... Uh, on Collapse Chronicles or wherever else on uh, YouTube, uh, my interviews from Collapse Chronicles show up. Uh, that is about 5% of the work. The actual me having the interview with the person. That is the fun part. What, what you don't see is the weeks and weeks, if not months, of legwork going into this. This is a hell of a lot of work, people. To, uh, to first, you, you, you know, I, I have to just to come up with the person to interview. Then you got to find how to contact the person. Then you got to, then you got to start all of these contacts. You know, you, you send out your letter of introduction and the invitation and blah, blah, blah. And this goes back and forth. This can go on for months trying to set up these interviews, you know, with people uh, uh, with busy schedules, you know, in time zones all over this planet. The, the major part of the job is not the easy fun part. It's the, it, it's the, you know, the person doing all of the background work. And I had the great pleasure and honor for two years, my good friend Jay down in Brazil, uh, for absolutely no glory, no fame, no glory, sure as hell no financial remuneration, uh, Jay took on this, uh, this monumental, uh, thankless task. And uh, it, it, it is a lot of work. And for two years, uh, Jay went uh, above and beyond the call of duty 
uh, to, you know, to get this, to help me get this information out. He was my right-hand man. There would have been no Collapse Chronicles without Jay. So, uh, you, you know, helping me to, to contact these people and follow through with them and lining up the, uh, you, you know, lining up the interviews and all of this, and then there's the fact that I am a total Luddite. Then when I finish the interview, then it has to be processed and all of that crap. I have no idea how to do that. And, and Jay was happy to take on that task. And, uh, but after two years, uh, you know, and I really, really appreciate it. And, and we, we parted on very good terms. Uh, Jay is still a good friend of mine. I'm hoping he's going to come visit me here in Florida this winter. Uh, I love the man dearly, but he gave two years of his life in, in, into this. And with, with all of the, you know, all of the distraction uh, you know, dealing with all of this stuff and, and, and having to lead his own life. Uh, just after two years of it, he said, he, he said, Sam, I'm out. You need to find somebody else uh, to do this. Uh, both, uh, and so anyway, minimally, I need to find somebody to, uh, to take over uh, what, what Jay was doing. I'm dying of, I'm just going to let a bunch of mosquitoes in here, guys. Uh, so first of all, I would need to find somebody to, to take over that job. And, uh, and, and, you know, to be the producer of, of Collapse Chronicles, willing to take on that role for no fame, no glory, and sure as hell, no pay. And uh, I don't know if that person is out there, uh, particularly, you know, since the collapse of Collapse Chronicles and other stuff. And then, then, then uh, you know, also what happened uh, last uh, spring, as you, you may or may not uh, remember, uh, is... Uh, it, it, you know, I lost dozens, if not hundreds, of, of subscribers off of YouTube because of my opinion that the Corona Panic is a bad hair day relative to what is coming down the pike on this planet. Relative to what is coming down the pike on this planet, the corona panic is a bad hair day. History will vindicate me. What was what I was so glad when I found who was that climatologist in uh, Australia that I mentioned a few weeks ago calling the corona panic a luxury holiday compared to what is coming down the pike. I, I, I was so vilified despised. I lost hundreds of subscribers. I was subje I, I have lost personal friends uh, over my opinion uh, of the Corona panic. And, and I was so disgusted by, by my fellow doomers. Uh, you, you know, not seeing this story for what it is. Uh, and, 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 and I just simply got disgusted and, and guys, uh, any, if I don't go to this next part of the conversation, people will be blowing the, uh, BS detected whistle on me. So I, I, I don't th think I have ever had this conversation on Collapse Chronicles, but I, I'm, I'm going to have it for the first time now, uh, if, if you have not noticed, I have never asked for one penny for my work on Collapse Chronicles. This is not a monetized channel. I keep thinking I might take it that direction, but so far, uh, I, I have never asked one person to sit through one minute of commercials on this channel. 
uh, whether it be my interviews or whatever, I have never asked one time for you to sit through the, the, those commercials, the, you know, that global corporatocracy crap. Uh, <clears throat> I have, uh, you know, put it out there that I do accept donations for my work on this channel and, and uh, other places here in the Doomosphere that we don't talk about on this channel. And, and I'm going to be perfectly honest, guys. In March of last year, I was making about $1,500 a month on YouTube. So about $18,000 a year. That between, between my Patreon uh, subscribers, uh, my PayPal donations... And I, I, I don't think I any longer have a GoFundMe, but between, you know, Patreon and PayPal, GoFundMe and private donations, I was averaging uh, about $1,500 a month uh, income off of YouTube. And uh, why I do not do what I do on YouTube for the money, anybody who claims uh, that I was doing those interviews or anything else for the money, you're so clueless, just get out of my face. Uh, I, I could go back into selling real estate anytime I want to and make $18,000 a month instead of a year. Don't give me this crap that that I am a, a collapsitarian for the money, but I was making $18,000 a year. And since this corona panic stuff blew up, over a period of about six weeks, my income on YouTube collapsed from about $1,500 a month to less than $500 a month. My, my income uh, on, on YouTube went down about 70%. Now, as you know, I sold a house in Austin, Texas in May and put a big pile of money in my pocket. I have, well, it's not nearly as big a pile of money as it was, but uh, I have enough money to live off of until my Social Security kicks in uh, next fall for a whopping $700 a month. So, uh, and I really, really, really appreciate the uh, one-third of one percent of my subscribers still financially supporting me. And, and, and I, this, this seemingly contradictory statement, take it or leave it, I do not do what I do on YouTube uh, for the money. Okay. However, <clears throat> I'm a little bit insulted. Uh, it, it, it just, it, it really is, you know, the, the amount of work that I put into this, or, or, or Jay, and of course Jay was doing this for zero a month, uh, you, you know, for, for the amount of work that I put into this, that, that, you know, that I could be working flipping hamburgers at McDonald's, making four times as much money as, as talking about uh, the most important story on this planet, which is the collapse of this planet. It's just a little bit insulting, guys. You know, uh, I've, I've got five years of college, a degree in journalism. I think I present a quality product. I don't mind saying I'm pretty proud uh, of my 200 interviews. And, and, uh, and you know, to, to watch my uh, income go from $1,500 a month to less than $500 uh, because I think the corona panic is a bad hair day. I just said, screw it. So, you know, put your money where your mouth is. If, uh, if, if I will make this offer. If, if some benefactor out there wants to pay me $18,000 a year, if anybody listening to this wants to hire Sam Mitchell, professional journalist, uh, I will go back to every week 
<clears throat> we will go back to interviewing. Uh, so if you're a benefactor and you think my interviews are worth $18,000 a year, let's talk. And you will get your interviews, but guys, I'm sorry. I am. I am just. I am just exhausted. Uh, I, I, I. I'm sick and tired of everything. And there's only so many ways you can say W A S F, and uh, that's really all I have to say about the subject. I hope my interviews will resurface sometime in the future, but until we get rid of this distraction, you know, meaning now and, and until Donald Trump is out of here and, and we get back to some level of normalcy on this planet and we think of something else to talk about than how many humans have died of corona panic, there's not going to be any more interviews. The only, the only point to make about how many humans have died of corona panic is not nearly enough. Anyway, see how many subscribers this, uh, this loses me, but, uh... That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I am sorry if I have offended anybody, but uh, I got a life to live, guys. Bye, guys.